Hi guys and welcome back. This is part 17 of my Unreal Engine 4 multiplayer FPS course and today we are going to be starting with the weapon system. Basically we'll be setting up the inheritance hierarchy of how we'll be handling things in the project. And yeah guys this has been long awaited because the first 14 parts were all about handling steam. So now that we have uh, surpassed that stage we can start with the gun mechanics and stuff like that. So first of all uh, this is kind of a bad way to showcase it, but just made a flowchart for uh, how we are going to be handling things. So on the left hand side we have the pickup class, so this is going to be the base class. And on the right hand side we, are, we have the weapon class, which is again the base class. Now I am assuming you have basic knowledge about inheritance in C++. So assuming that I am going to proceed further. So pickup is going to be the ones which you can pick up obviously so you can either pick up weapons or something like you know a health pack or something that is going to come under other and these ones ak and op ak47 and the op these are going to be the further derived classes from weapon ones which you can pick up on the ground uh, again same as uh, the other category it's going to work the same the final ones where we change the actual mesh so wherever we change the variables and functions those are going to be in c plus plus and in the ak and the op the only difference is probably the values of the variables and the model itself so these are going to be in blueprints and obviously they will be uh, derived classes of the c plus plus ones and weapon on the right hand side is the weapon which will actually spawn so it can either be a melee weapon or it can be a gun and just to show the extendability of the system the reason we are using such an inheritance hierarchy is because let's say you had another class of weapon in your game so it could be some sort of a magical weapon or something maybe a magic wand in this case as the example I've taken so you can easily derive another class from weapon and not inherit the useless variables from melee or guns so that way we can save both memory as well as have a neat inheritance hierarchy so under melee you can have knife and axe and things like that a knife and axe will not have variables such as range whereas guns will have a range so things like that is going to make our development a lot more simple and again the the furthermost derived classes are going to be in blueprints where only the values of the variables will change but we won't be adding too many variables there might be one or two which we will add so yeah now let's get started so head into tools create a new c++ class and this is going to be of type actor and we'll call this one pickup and uh, let's do one thing here let's head into our fps course uh, create a new folder and over here we will call this one pickup or pickups rather and we'll call this one cpp underscore pickup and we'll put that as public and now let's create the class now live coding is enabled so just ignore all of those now we'll just create another class as well we'll be compiling everything a bit later so create a new C++ class and over here we'll select actor again and this one is going to be called weapon and this one is going to be cpp underscore weapon and let's just create a new folder again we will call this one uh, weapons uh, select the folder and put this under public now the folder creation was kind of pointless because uh, it is going to put it under a separate folder. I'll get to that a bit later. Okay guys, so now head into your project directory. Right click and click on generate visual studio project files again. And once that's done, you can open up your .sln file. Now if you have done everything correctly, you can right click and click on. Now we also need uh, a couple of other classes. So head into tools, new C++ class, type actor. And this one is going to be called cpp, cpp underscore weapon pickup. And this is going to be derived from pickup and I will show you guys how to inherit that as well. So if we actually head back in, 
So if we click on all classes, we can actually do it right here. So pick up. Now that's the reason we built it because we are uh, inheriting it from this. So we want to inherit it from cpp underscore pickup and uh, let's correct the spelling over there and this one is going to be under so let's actually set the directory let's just uh, put it under pickups and make that public and over here cpp underscore weapon pickup and we can create the class so I had live coding enabled, so that's why I just brought up Visual Studio. So head into tools, create another new C++ class and under weapons. Now we do already have our uh, weapon based class. So now from that we are going to be deriving another one. So click on weapon and under C CPP weapon, we are going to be calling this one CPP underscore gun. Now gun is going to be a derived class of weapon and that makes sense. So click on this folder, change this to public and cpp underscore gun is going to be one class. And now if we ever want to further extend upon it, we can do it anytime. So that's not really an issue. So create the class. Okay guys, so now inside the pickup dot uh, cpp file under the constructor what i want you guys to do is set uh, b replicates to true uh, is equal to true and one more thing is i want you guys to open up uh, the other file as well that is the weapon file so source fps course uh, private weapons weapon underscore dot cpp and over here as well set uh, b replicates to true and one more thing under pickup i want you guys to set set replicate movement to be equal to true as well uh, save that and once you have saved that just uh, right click and click on build Okay guys, so we have created the required C++ classes for our weapons and pickups. So let's just create the derived blueprint classes so that we can start working on it from the next part. So uh, head into your blueprints folder, right click, create a new folder and call this one pickup or pickups rather and create another folder and call this one weapons. Now your pickups are going to contain all your other pickups as well as your weapon pickups. So let's create a new folder and call this one weapon pickups. Oops. Weapon pickups. Open it up and inside weapon pickups we'll create a new blueprint class. And this one will be of type weapon pickup. So CPP weapon pickup. And we'll call this one BP underscore weapon pickup and now head back into pickups and let's actually not worry about the other pickups right now we'll look into it a bit later uh, now head into weapons uh, right click and create a new folder and call this one guns and right click create a new folder and call this one melee and over here under weapons itself create a new blueprint class of type weapon cpp underscore weapon and now you can just create a class right now and this one is going to be called bp underscore weapon all right so that's pretty much it actually so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching in the next part we'll set up some variables and basic functions that we require or rather we'll set up the uh, weapon class for our uh, guns whatever we need so i'll show you guys how to do that not to worry so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching if you guys did enjoy the video and learn something new make sure you guys do leave a thumbs up and make sure you guys do join my discord server if you guys have any questions uh, link to my Instagram page as well is down in the video description and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye